never ceases to amaze me how they're able to create such lifelike effects in films. I mean, 30 megaton bomb explosions, giant dinosaurs, oozing bullet wounds. It's pretty incredible. Do you ever wonder how filmmakers are able to create these special effects? Well, more and more of today's special effects are created by a computer. With the help of powerful software packages, these machines are able to render just about any scenario you would want. They can even create entire worlds. But there's still some film effects that rely on plain old trickery. Like this one. Ah, things I do for my craft. Well, actually, this is a very common special effect, the knife slash. Now, you're probably thinking this is some kind of special knife. Well, the only thing special about it is that it's made out of rubber. No hidden tubes filled with fake blood or anything like that. Same goes for my hand. So, how did this streak appear? Well, the answer can be found in our own blood. Most of our blood is made up of cells called erythrocytes. These cells are special because they contain hemoglobin, a protein that contains iron. Hemoglobin's job is to pick up oxygen from the lungs and deliver it to all the tissues in the body. Herein lies the secret behind the knife slash effect. You see, when hemoglobin comes into contact with oxygen, a chemical reaction takes place. The iron atoms in the hemoglobin bind to the oxygen atoms. The resulting chemical reaction produces a red pigment, and it's this red pigment that gives our blood its color. Special effects people have mimicked this chemical reaction, but instead of using hemoglobin and oxygen, they use two special solutions. Potassium thiocyanate, which we'll call solution A, and ferric chloride, which is solution B. Ferric chloride, as the name implies, contains iron. Spread some solution A onto your hand. Dab some solution B onto the knife. When the two come into contact, the iron in solution B reacts with the chemicals in solution A, producing a red pigment that looks very much like blood. We've known each other a long time, and I've never lied. Excuse me. Oh, oh sorry. So sorry, excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. But you know, no action film is complete without a hail of bullets ricocheting over someone's head. How do they do that? Hey, hey, Max. Do you mind? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Hey, darling, oh, Sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, excuse me. I mean, they're not about to fire real bullets at a person. So how do they do it? Quiet! Well, it's pretty simple. They just plant a series of explosive charges in the wall behind the actor. Then as the actor runs by, they set off each charge in sequential order, right? Well, not exactly. See, the bullet ricochet effect is more realistic than that. See, they actually shoot at the actor. But instead of firing bullets, they fire these. They're called zerks. Their name comes from what's inside them. Zirconium. Zirconium is a rare metal found in the Earth's crust. What makes it so special is the way it reacts when it comes into contact with heat. It sparks, which is why it's used in things like fireworks. A zerk shell consists of a small amount of powdered zirconium combined with some fine fish tank gravel. The gravel gives the shell weight so it flies in a straight line. The zirconium gravel mixture is sealed in a hollow plastic ball. The zerk shells are then loaded into an air rifle. The pressure of impact creates enough heat to ignite the zirconium, creating sparks. Don't go in there, man. There's a bomb. There's a bomb in there. Hey, put a sock in it. I told you. The movies are filled with some pretty amazing special effects, but there's no effect more spectacular and death-defying than the body burn. How can a person run around with...
with their body totally engulfed in flames and survive for take two. Well, this is how. This coverall is made from Nomex. It's a synthetic fiber with a very special property. It doesn't catch fire. Nomex's flame-resistant property comes from its molecular structure. It resembles a chain. You've got these very stable ring-like structures tightly bonded together. This unique molecular structure allows Nomex to withstand temperatures of up to 375 degrees Celsius before igniting. To perform the body burn, a stunt person uses several layers of Nomex clothing. The clothing is first soaked in a special stunt gel. The gel protects the stunt person from the intense heat of the flames. It works by closing the pores and lowering the temperature of the skin. First on is a pair of Nomex underwear. Followed by a pair of Nomex coveralls. Then another slathering of stunt gel is applied to the head, neck and other extremities. Followed by some Nomex headgear. Then comes the actual costume. Once the stunt person is suited up and ready, a coating of flammable liquid is brushed onto their costume. When the camera rolls, the performer is ignited and executes ready? the stunt.